Norwalk resident who fought on the battlefields all over Ukraine for months is now sharing his story with News 12 in his first local TV interview. James Vasquez first went viral on Twitter for sharing real time video on the battlefield while fighting against the Russians. He tells News 12 show Pedrosian what he witnessed firsthand and how he's determined to get back. You're selling literally everything. Everything. Why, you want to buy something? Sometimes we sell what things to make boat? space for the things we love. My Jeep is the only thing that I'm taking with me. I'm getting that shipped over. I'm going to go into battle with this thing. For Norwalk resident Good James video. Vasquez, he's making space for a new beginning. All right, listen, Vic, I got, I got, I got 35 encrypted radios coming to you, all right? Chilled pretty good here. In a place with incoming fire. Nick, you all right? Camaraderie. All right. And war. Keep your head down. So we're sitting in a really quiet backyard right now. Very different from where you were just a couple weeks ago. What's it like being back? <sighs> it's odd. I'm not getting shot at or shelled at <laughs> all day. Um, it's, uh, I want to be back over there with my guys. Free tank here. Free tank. Uh, I feel like I abandoned them. I feel like... Um, After a long firefight, I took control of the area. You know, I had to come home eventually, but I'm definitely going to go back. As soon as I get my passport, I'm going to be right over there. We're on our way. Love you guys. Keep fighting a good fight. The U.S. Army veteran says there was no option for him to sit back when he saw Russia invade Ukraine back in February. Yeah, I didn't know, you know, what I was going to do, where I was going to go. I just knew I was going to get to the front line somehow, some way. So he took what he knew. Here's my gear. And what he could. Got medical supplies in here. And who he is to the front lines. Oh, this was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. One, two, three, four Russian tanks taken out. Call that a good day. It started out, you know, I just don't like bullies, you know. And it um, started out with me thinking about my grandmother. Vasquez takes on adventures, risks, and says he stands up for the little guys. All right. So far, we took out seven Russian tanks. That's because the 47-year-old says he was bullied growing up back in Brooklyn, and his grandmother fled Soviet-controlled Latvia during World War II. She was smart enough to uh, flee, and her whole family got slaughtered by Russians. Here we go. It's go time. Vasquez flew to Poland, crossed the border into Ukraine. Now, I don't know if you guys know what this is behind me. That's Russian tank. He took on the task of clearing villages outside of Kyiv, then moved to the front lines in Donetsk Oblast in eastern Ukraine. It's been a crazy day, but I shit you not, I just stole a 50 caliber machine gun off of a tank. Well, I was going to try to get some sleep. Air raid sirens are going off, so. When I got to Donetsk, um, literally the first five minutes I was there, there was an explosion, and nobody even flinched. So I was like, all right. So if nobody's like flinching at this point, that means that this is happening often. Vasquez was part of two units and helped train Ukrainians, some who have never even picked up a weapon before. That's it, three shots. Artillery shell. Nice. This guy needs a helmet. But war brings yeah, immeasurable yeah, injuries yeah, from yeah, members of Vasquez's yeah, units yeah, and yeah, losses. There was, there was one young kid, 22 years old, you know, I could see he was scared. He had a family, he had a brand new, you know, little baby. And, and I told him, uh, you know, just stick with me. I, uh, I'll keep you alive. And, and, and that made him comfortable. Well, I left. And uh, now he's dead. He died, he got, he got killed after I left. And I feel horrible about that. You tweeted the other day that it was the first time you cried. That was, that was, that was because of him. That was because of him. Broke, broke my heart. Yeah, that broke my heart. This is my, this is my uh, Kevlar. Through hard times no. comes humor. My son thought it would be hilarious if I wrote the tickler on the side of the helmet. I can replace anything. Humanity. These people are losing their whole livelihood, their, their homes. <gasps> and principles of democracy. It's been a long day, baby. Vasquez says are all 
worth fighting for. God, I wish anybody could walk one day in my shoes over there and, and see what I went through and see what I've seen. And I think everybody would be doing what I'm doing in some capacity or another. You know, whether, you know, not everybody can fight, but everybody would help in some way. And that was Shosh Bedrosian reporting. Vasquez is asking for people to make donations to Ripley's Heroes, which provides non-lethal and humanitarian resources to volunteers working in Ukraine who are helping to save lives. There's a link on our website and the full extended interview with Vasquez at news12.com.